guys, it's me, Rachel, here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. So I'm enjoying my bench. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm enjoying a cup of coffee this morning <clears throat> before I get to work. Mm. And I got two of my Corso puppies out. Um, I've got the male that I kept out of Asia and Don Juan. And the female that I kept out of Remy and Grim. Panda, 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 panda. Poor, no, ah, ah, don't you do that. No. She got some type of allergic reaction yesterday while we were out here. I don't know what it was, but she was breaking out in these huge whelps. Not even like tiny hives, like big fat whelps. And so I had to put her, um, I had to give her some Benadryl. And um, she's better now. That's not near as bad as it was. Hey! Hey! What was that? Move. What was that? Tommy, are you alright? Who did it? Tommy. Sweet baby boy. Y'all cut it out. Mm. Let me put my coffee down. I've got them all out going to the... To la baño. But, um... Ah! Quit. Get back. Back. Get back now. Get back. Come on, Annie. No, Blondie, not you. Tommy, go. Ah, ah, ah. Don't you dare. Come on, Annie. Y'all get. We got the Ferruja Bulldogs out. The bullies. The bully, 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 bully. And the Corsos. These weaknesses. Okay. We can't let the big, the big dogs out here. Not after everything that I planted. They'll destroy it. I tried that before and it didn't work. Not could cut it out. Uh oh, rooster. You're kind of in the wrong area, bro. Don't you worry. I'll protect you. I won't let them get you. Look at that structure. Oof. Nautica's fantastic. Hey, y'all quit messing with him. Freya, you are always starting trouble. Quit it. Cut it out, Freya. Beautiful head, but not much in there. Y'all cut it out. Behave. No. First of all, Nautica, I said no. Get down, Saffron. Come on, you guys, so I can enjoy my coffee. I don't want to hear no more nonsense. You hear me? Don't make me come over here. Okay. We run a real tight ship around here. Now that I've got them all kenneled together and stuff like that, I can let them out like that. As long as I'm out here and I'm listening, I would never just leave them out um, completely unsupervised. Annie, you get your butt back in here now. Now, you come here. Annie, no ma'am. Get over here now. Annie, come here. Get over here. Come on, let's go. Get in here. Don't do that. I gotta get a latch. There's like a little bungee that I typically use to shut that. To keep it shut. She's she's really smart. And so she gets she just pushes right past. But I don't like I don't like her disrespecting my boundaries. No matter how flimsy they may be. Okay. Sweet baby Daisy. Sweet baby Daisy. Annie? <laughs> Annie? And I said no. She's harder to work with, which is why I don't have her out all the time. She's, um, 
she, I think, and I don't know this for sure because I have no idea how she was housed before I got her. But I think she spent a lot of time with other dogs. And she doesn't quite respect people yet. Like, I, 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 get out of my rose. Quit it. Hey. I hope it did get you in the mouth. I hope it did. Quit trying to be destructive. Just so you know, this is the reality of Corso puppies. They go around walking your property trying to find every little thing that they can possibly destroy chew up eat pee on uproot they are little furry minions of destruction and they don't stay little for long y'all better cut it out so i can just holler and then they quiet down look at that rooster making a break for it over there but anyway, so I'm going to put some new stock on her booty for those, for those, um, hot spots. But this is, that's my bench. Ooh, look at that movement on him. Fantastic. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Stretch, 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 stretch. Oh, yeah. Tommy boy's leading them on. I'm on a little chew toy. Luckily, I got a lot of those, so... Oh, and he almost got it. Tommy Boy be fighting with her on stuff. Look at him. He's like, yeah, you want this? This is what you wanted right here? This right here is what you wanted? He's like, this? This right here? <laughs> Daisy, leave my leave my rose alone. Don't take my frustration out of my rum, on my rose. Look at her. Beautiful movement on her, though. Oh, he almost, he's like, ah, I thought you had a bone. Ah, ah, ah. Quit trying to tear up my tree. Yeah, they got to learn the boundaries. Because <sighs> I planted a ton of roses. Um, I've got more roses on the way because I have a problem um, with overdoing it. <clears throat> so I planted this rose. I planted this rose planted this rose Annie this rose well this one was last year it's doing really good <clears throat> this rose Annie leave my chicken alone let's go Annie um, panda this this is a bush beautiful bush when it's when it does this thing then I planted um, this rose, which almost died, but it is still alive despite how it looks. This rose. Don't bark at me just because I got a bandana on. Oh, watch out, baby. Got a puppy under my foot. That rose. I planted this tree. I don't know how well it's going to do, though. These things tend to be super fragile. And, um, I didn't plant it last year like I should have. I bought it. And then I have this thing about myself where I... Where I, I need to constantly be in a state of overworkedness. That's what I do. If I don't, I get bored. Psh, ah. um, but simultaneously, sometimes things get... The ball gets dropped. It's never, like, important things. Not that the tree is not important. But, I mean, it's not my dogs. It's not things like that. Um, yeah, all of these actually I planted last year. I don't even know why I'm showing you. But they're doing really well. I got a mow over here. Apparently, this is some, like, really cool medicinal plant that people were, like, showing on TikTok, but I'm too lazy to make a tincture out of it. <clears throat> oh, and these ones over here. These two here, I planted as well. So, yeah, I got five more on the way. About to be a, a rose garden back here. Um, I'm really excited about it, and that's my bench, and I just sit here, pick this up from Tractor Supply for cheap, it's like, I think 160 bucks, and it's metal. Ah, oh, Annie, that's a bad dog, you get over here now, Annie, get your butt back over here now, let's go, Annie, no, come here, good girl, good girl, Annie, good girl, come on, Annie, no, Daisy, Daisy, Annie, come here. Now, you are being a bad dog. You are teaching bad things. Come here, Annie. 
Good girl. Daisy? No. Daisy. Daisy May. Ooh, she's going to get it. She going to get it. She going to get it, Lord Jesus. She going to get it. I need a bungee. There we go. There's a bungee. Found it. Perfect. It's on like Donkey Kong. <clears throat> now, I'm going to come through here and I'm going to bungee it. Now, I can't fault Annie too much because she just wants water, but it is what it is. They got to listen. No, Annie, stop it. Hold on, I gotta pause this because I need both my hands. Whew, all right, that was a little bit of a workout. Savannah has to remake my coffee because, well, she didn't have to, but she offered. Because uh, when I put my coffee down to get Annie, they, um, they sabotaged my coffee, I swear. Oh, it was a lot of work, dude. Um, I was like trying to herd cats over here. As they say, what are you doing, Annie? You're being such a weirdo, like legitimately. Let's take her bone. Ugh. Come on, let's go. All right. So we brought out two, two things for everybody. She's gonna take hers back where she can hide it again. She's weird. She weird. Annie! Where'd she go? There she is. Annie, come on! Good girl, Annie, good girl. Good girl, Annie, come on. Annie! Good girl, yes, yeah, good girl. Good girl, that's what I wanna see. She's listening now. She's listening now. That's what I want to see. So I've been working with her because like I said, she, I don't know, I don't know how much she's been worked with, but I can tell you as somebody who's had a lot of dogs that sometimes when you have a young dog and you have a lot of dogs and you keep that young dog with all your big dogs and you don't spend enough time with them individually, they bond with the other dogs instead of you. And it's not that they don't acknowledge you. They will, but they don't respect you as a member of the pack. So Annie wasn't respecting me like somebody that has any authority over her. And uh, so I've been bringing her out and I've been working with her. And, you know, she does get disciplined when she doesn't listen. She got disciplined a minute ago whenever I did um, get on to her for doing that, for disrespecting me. And I also disciplined Daisy for not listening Daisy is a very dominant female, and I spoiled the crap out of her when I first got her. Um, she's easy to spoil because she's such a sweetheart. But you see that tail straight up like that? She very much reminds me of Cashmere. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm talking about you, Daisy. Um, but anyway, she's doing better. Definitely doing better. And you better not be eating my rose. I saw you earlier. What you doing? Yep, one of them already tried to eat the tip of this rose off right here. No. No. That's why I don't be having my dogs out here. See, it went from a from a from a, a peaceful moment of me enjoying my spot. This is my spot. To sheer chaos by letting out dogs. <sighs> but it is what it is. This is my life. It wouldn't be so bad if there was not perpetual puppies. Because once I train them, they're great. But I'm always in a state of training because I always have puppies. <sighs> but it is what it is. I really love it though. I can't say that I don't. It would be a total lie. Because I really do love my dogs. The gentleman is here working on the flooring. He's going to get the hallway done. 
And so I'm just trying to enjoy the beauty of the day. Now that everything's kind of calmed down a little bit. These guys had to learn the boundaries. Panda, 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 panda. Yes, sweetness. Hello. Hello, baby girl. Hello. I wonder what's going on out there. What you doing looking like your mother? You look just like your mother, but black. Ah, I was hoping for an improvement in the head, but just wasn't any. Uh, we'll have to try again next time. Especially because I used a male with a really good head, which is grim. But one thing I've noticed is that sometimes you don't get what you're looking for right out of the gate with that first generation. Sometimes you got to breed what you did and then what you wanted comes out in the next generation. So that's what I'm hoping. Luckily, um, we've got Anakin. He's a young male. He's producing really beautiful heads. So I'll put her to Anakin and um, see if we can't narrow down on that, on that head. What y'all doing over there? What's going on? Hey, babies. Now, I did get a fantastic head out of my Asia boy, but that's not, that's not surprising. Asia has a beautiful head, and um, it's a very dominant feature for her, which is awesome. It's exciting. Uh, um, watch out now. Good girl. Yeah, beautiful dogs. He's going to get his ears done on Thursday. Beautiful babies. Daisy. Did you get in trouble? Yeah, did you get in trouble, Daisy? Look at her being all dominant. She's like, I don't need you. Look at all these other dogs coming to me. I don't need you. Very dominant. Most of them would come running to me, but not her. Look, look at her. Oh, Panda says don't. I'm being pet by my mother. Mm. Oh, ho, denied. Denied. Okay. Okay. See, let me tell you something. That's why I be telling people when I'm training, if your dog is acting like that to you, the way she just did with me, that tough love thing, absolutely you better give it back. Because, like, for example, so what I'll do with her to make a point is I'll come over because of that. I'll come over and watch this. Hold on, I gotta zoom out real quick for y'all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab her, I'm gonna put her down on her side, I'm gonna dominate her. And then I'll walk away. No love. No love. Two can play at that game. <clears throat> so, now that I've done that, I will go to myself over my space. This is trash, by the way. I just picked it up. It's a broken mop thing. <sighs> there's always trash around here, I swear. Every time we try to pick it up, something else just shows up, I swear. I feel like there's like a trash fairy. Look at that movement. Like a trash fairy that just runs around my property dropping things off um panda 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 no don't come that way you know the deal panda 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 Shh, don't touch my rose panda 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 good girl panda now look at look at daisy look at daisy Look at Daisy getting all jealous. Look at that. Look. See, now she wants love. Look at that. No, Daisy. Don't do that. Panda, 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 panda. I'm showing y'all Daisy even though I'm petting Panda right now. Yeah, yes. Panda, panda, panda. Honey, boom, boom. Honey, boom, boom, boom. Honey, boom, boom. So now we do this and we make her jealous. Look at that head. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. That's, don't eat my rose.
pretty boy. Look at you, bunny boy. Look at you. Look at you, Sir Flops. Oh, look. Here she comes. Let's see what she does. Let's see if she comes all the way. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, look. There she is. Well, hello, Panda. Hello. Or no. <laughs> hello, Daisy. Hello, Daisy. You're a good girl. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You sweet boy. Panda. Sweet baby panda. Sweet baby panda. So you see how I didn't play into her. Now, let me be very clear with you. If I would have went to Daisy and if I would have tried to earn her love by loving on her and petting her and grabbing her, then it, it, she probably would have tried to assert more dominance on me. She could have gotten aggressive with me. She could have just tried to run off and then do her own thing with her tail up and be a little Miss Independent. There's a lot of things she could have done. I've seen dogs actually, I was working with a lady in Maryland. Her dog actually tried to piece her up. I, 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 don't you do that. And, um, and it was because she kept trying to love a bond into the, to the dog. To make the dog love her by... Um, by being affectionate and you cannot make a dog love you by being affectionate to them when they're trying to be dominant to you because all they see it is you being submissive to them because that is submission in the dog world. A dog shows submission by coming up and being very affectionate, licking the mouth of the other, you know, doing what they can to appease the other one. And so that's why I was unwilling. I did not come to her for love. I came to her. I put her in submissive posture, reasserted myself, and then I walked away from her. And then she came to me for affection. And as you can see, now her tail is down. So um, that kind of stuff matters. And when they're young, it really matters. And you got to do that kind of stuff to teach them how to respect you. You got to put your boundaries up and say, you don't get to you don't get to forsake my love. You don't get to disrespect me. You don't get to, you know, whatever you want. So, and, um, I reasserted myself and now she's being nicer and her tail is down and she'll overall listen better. There's a lot of benefits to that, um, small little window of training right there. And all I had to do was do tough love for just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a little bit to get a really strong reaction from her because ultimately every dog wants to be a part of a pack they want to be loved they want to be accepted and so when you show them that um, they will not get love and affection in a cert by with certain behaviors uh, and they will not be accepted as a part of the pack then they're going to alter that behavior but if you keep trying to love them into behaving and love them into loving you then you'll absolutely lose because that's not the way that that dogs work it's not dog society so, look, everybody's calm now. Yeah. Panda, panda, panda. <laughs> I love pandas so much. So, panda is a really great example of the Ferruja bulldog that we're trying to be to breed. Um, Daisy has more of a bully head, which is obviously what they are. Um, but it's, she's got a, like a, a more petite, a little bit pointier muzzle. Um, there are just elements. I really love the bulldogish, the bulldogness of Panda. And I have a new female that I'm bringing. I'm calling her, so far I've been playing around with the name Lalo, although Reese doesn't like it. She's like, it sounds like a command, lay low. And I'm like, no, we don't do it slow. We say lay low. But either way, it is what it is. You see how Daisy is staying on the outskirts, how she's not coming in? She's like, I'm dominant. I'm a, I'm, I'm a boss. I don't need you guys. That's a dominant female for you. But that's fine. She can be over there. She can, she can feel however she wants to feel so long as she listens when she's told. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. You're pretty. Just got your mama's face, but that's okay. Anyway, so yeah, we're going for a more bulldog head. Uh, definitely um, not going to be extreme. We don't want a very short muzzle. It's it's not that. Um, that and actually, I talked with Reese about it. And I want to do a live stream on the differences in the type that we're that we're looking for um 
and really narrowing down specifically what it is. What what are the differences? Is it is it the the stop? Is it the orbital bossing? Is it the you know width of the muzzle? Is it the you know um, the chin? Like what is it? Right? And I have um, some ideas of what it is, but um, we're gonna do a video really narrowing it down and. I have this goal of having the Fruja Bulldog be the first breed to ever be created on a live stream. Now, obviously, we're not going to create it in the sense of like physicality, but like the standard. And that way you guys can really see how this process goes, uh, what, what we are looking at, and really begin to learn to dissect the individual elements of a dog's head. Because if you're not a breeder and you're not used to that, it can a lot of dog breeds can just look the same. Like a lot of people have a hard time recognizing the difference between like an American Corso and a European Corso. And um, for those of us that work with both, we can pretty easily identify both. Now, there are times when um, I've seen some European lines that weren't bred very well and they've had, ah, 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 ah. don't you do that. And we've had, um, you know, some of them, it can be a little harder to tell. But in general, there are some very specific things that we look for. And I'm going to show you guys how we identify them so that you guys can get better at really kind of breaking down the head of a dog into individual elements that are easier to identify different breed influences in the head of a, of a dog that many people might think they all look the same. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to try to enjoy my morning and my next cup of coffee that hopefully puppies won't get to drink out of because I'm distracted. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.